Hello, second graders. I'm going to help you with a uh, page in your yellow booklet, the writing, Common Core Writing and Language booklet. This is going to be page 16. I'm going to give you just a little tiny bit of help on this. Um, you've been working on contractions all week, and you know the little punctuation mark, the thing you write that's not a letter, but you have to write it. It's called the apostrophe, right? And uh, what you're going to be doing, just a couple examples of here, are uh, the top section where you would read each contraction. That's these right here, the shortcut version, the one word. And on the blank line, write the two smaller words that make the contraction. On the bottom part of the page, the directions switch. So I'm going to help you with the trickiest one at the top and the trickiest one at the bottom. And the rest of them, I'm going to call yours to do. All right. So uh, number four is our trickiest one up here. That's the word won't. So if I try it in a sentence, I could say something like, I won't do that. Now I have to think about what are two words that I could say instead of won't. This one's kind of a rule breaker. I would say will not. I will not do that. I won't do that. They mean the same thing. This is one of the very few that don't follow the rules where your first word of the two, you write again and then do something shorter with the second word. We don't get the contraction won't. You can't say, I won't do that. It's not a word. You'll have to say, I won't do that. So that's one of our kind of rule breaker ones. The other ones I'd like you to try the same way. Uh, try saying the contraction maybe in a sentence and then check out the two words you use to replace it and see if it means the same thing. Here's another rule breaker down here on the bottom. And it is because number three already is one word. There's no space between those two parts. Cannot, right? So this time, the blank is for the contraction. See? Read each word or pair of words. On the blank line, write the contraction that stands for the word or words. So if I said, I cannot do it, instead of saying, I cannot, I would say, I can't do it. Now, here's, again, the exception to the rule, meaning this doesn't normally follow the rules. There's the word can, just like the beginning of this. But the second part of the contraction is the not part. And all they do for us this time is apostrophe T, which is what is a little bit different than how we normally do the ending part of a not contraction. We normally do, like on a was not, we normally would just get rid of the O. But on this one, they get rid of the N and the O. So that's how you correctly do the contraction for can't. So that is some help on page 16 in your Common Core Writing and Language book. And just more practice on contractions. So help yourself to the rest of them. You'll do just fine.